Hey guys, Dan here, and today we are going to be watching Doctor Who Flux Chapter 2 War of the Sontarans. So, without any further ado, let's start. Cloister Bell. Oh! Our bleeding fish islands. That's not spooky at all. This shot was in colour in the um, true trailer. End of the universe. So did they fall into the flux? What an opening. So let me just get this straight. She's like a real person from history. <laughs> <laughs> and those Sontan and things, they're not part of history, really. No, she should be here. They shouldn't. There's history being rewritten. <sighs> when? Dan? When isn't it? Are you okay? Oh, okay. Stay still, Dan. He's fading away. Still going off a cloister bell. What do you like how the windows shine? Lights. There's no door. Dan Stark, eh? Whoa. Oh, Mr. Suntown so much. Like evil Suntowns. Dad? Where the hell have you been? <laughs> All assistance is required. Can you repair? What will the doctor do? Why has she got that written on her hand? I can. That's so stupid. That's exactly why I'm here. More of you. More to destroy when I free myself. Which will be soon. My boy, Dan Stark, eh? No wonder the general doesn't approve. I think. Mm. Where's my boy Carvinist at this week? That's what I said. That's what I said. You said they'd be off after the weekend. I never did. <laughs> Why would they just come for the weekend? They were in Liverpool first. We've already heard of people trying. You could actually be believe that they're his parents. But this is proper good casting. And he's giving off real. His dad is giving off real Wilfred Mott vibes. You two, get back to the house. I'm going in. By yourself? It's better that way. Go on, Dan. You love to see it. The infamous walk. In case you need it. Transmission received from Outer Corridor, Priest Triangle. There is another. You will step aside. Repair this here. Yes. Hi. I'm Yaz. This shot's so cool. Oh, here we go. First confrontation. Oh, I love the new armor. Take your hat off, mate. Second thoughts, put it back on. <laughs> I love her. The treacherous vermin known as the Doctor. You're talking to her. This planet has defied us ever since the great Commander Lynx first sticked to hey. skin and the ground of its feeble soil. We now assert that claim. <laughs> I swear, when they come on to doing an action figure of it, if it does not come. With a walk, I will be furious. Oh, forgot about these two. I remember this. Passenger, we are Look at him. I'll lead. Don't let anybody know that I'm here. Dad! 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 
Yes. Yes. Fordy, I don't know, I was going to say, go on, Vinda. Just shoot the sister. Try me. I don't think so. I've still got a yes. shot in this fight. What? Oh, yes. My boy, Carvinista. You're welcome, idiot. <laughs> I intercepted the transmissions. It's not your plan, so don't pretend you're clever. All right, keep your <laughs> What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm taking off. What? <sighs> Have I just fallen into the sea, man? We're going to die of hypothermia. Imagine if it's a different TARDIS interior. I know it won't be, but just imagine. I'm here. Overside. Oh no. no. It did fall into the sea. Tube? It was the waste tube. You kidding me? <laughs> Gone. Until Scooby Doo here tried to take all the credit. <laughs> I need your people to stay protecting this planet while I'm away. I have to find my friend. You want to come? Yeah, you do. Okay. Wow. I should not be going out the floor. Oh my god. These things new? Yeah. Oh. I here a second ago. Something's corrupted the TARDIS. Whoa! Did you just do that? No! I mean, this is obviously a trap. <laughs> and we're walking into it, are we? I have to find Jazz. Stay close to me. Do exactly as I say. I think them two work great together. Ah, Doctor. At last. Come. Whoa! Stop, man! Time is beginning to run wild. Well, as an angel in Yaz's car. Ooh. There were some. Okay, so. Oh, that was a. That episode has aged me 50 years. Uh, I suppose I say once upon a time, but that's next week. War of the Sontarans. Flux Chapter 2. That was. Well, there's a lot to unpack there. So, Sontarans, what did I think of them? Uh, really good. The good old cl 
that's it on torrents. A lot of elements that I could sense were sort of taken from the R oh, from the RTD on torrents, which is fine. For uh, those are sort of true works that work with them. Uh, it's good to see Dan Starkey back as some different on torrents. You couldn't really tell that it was him though. It's obviously the voice that gave it away and stuff, but um, you know the prosthetics and everything. The They've given all the Suntoran actors different teeth from that, so yeah, uh, really good. Um, the stuff with Dan, Dan is just m the best companion <laughs> in the Whitaker era. Also, is that a picture of Jodie's new co? It is. Hang on, that's a picture. There we are. We got. Image of Jodie's new coat next week. Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, um, Suntorans, really like them. They were very good. Um, Dan was exceptional this episode. I thought that it was really funny. Had some great comedic moments. Chibnall really knows how to write him, and he's doing a great job with that. Um, for stuff with Yaz and Vinda, absolutely no idea idea what's going on. That's sort of the, the overarching plot, I believe. Um, what's going to happen with this temple of... God knows what it's called. Um, but yeah. Uh, Vinda, I feel like we really need to see some more of him. Now that we're now into episode 3 of the series... Uh, well, we're heading into episode three. I think we really do need need to see a lot more of him. I think because um, it's such a short series and so much is happening, we don't know much about him. And I bet his total one time for the show so far isn't that high. Carvinistas is probably higher. Carvinista again, very good. Obviously, had in some secrets about the division. Um, but no, it's cool that. Uh, uh, that the Lupari are protecting the Earth, and Carvin is just doing his bit, and that I think I think he's really good. Um, what else? Jody, I thought Jody was very good this episode. Uh, giving some good material to work with, and the stuff with. Uh, that lieutenant who blew up the Sun Torrents at the end. I kind of wish that Jodie would have given a bit more of a speech for that. I might have written a speech for her about, uh, uh, you know, doing the right thing and stuff like that. But, um, no, the little bit, little sort of chunk that she said about, uh, uh, she wonders if, if it's even worth saving humanity and stuff like that that she said, uh, I thought was really good. But yeah. Great episode. Uh, highlights: Dan, uh, Sontarans. Um, I'm really intrigued in Swarm and Az Azure. I think her name is. They don't give them easy names, do they? But yeah, uh, excited for next week's uh, Weeping Angel. Uh, just like Vinda's gonna have a bit more of a prominent role next week because he was in that shot with. Uh, uh, the Doctor, Yaz, and Dan, and they have the Division Guns as well, uh, so very intrigued to see when about so that's going to be set, uh, but yeah, interesting, can't wait for next week, so guys, that is all for this time, thank you so much for watching, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, follow, Ugh. Follow me on Twitter at DanWFA, the link is in the description. And I'll see you next week for Once Upon Time. Goodbye.